Okay, welcome to this video and today you'll notice that I'm not in my usual place but we are here with someone else and this is my guest Omar from the School of Scent. If you are part of the YouTube fragrance community you may already know him. Uh, he is a fragrance reviewer YouTuber, his channel is actually much bigger than mine and he does reviews on different fragrances so you could say he's kind of a bee knock around the fragrance community campus. So today the reason I got Omar here is because, well, last time I did a video that was quite popular and it was where I went and remade the formula for 1 million by Paco Rabanne from Creative Formulas. And today I've gone and remade the formula for La Nuit de l'Homme by, who is it by? It's by, by Yves Saint Laurent, Yves Saint Laurent yeah. uh, which is a perfume that I actually discovered by doing some uh, blind reactions on Omar's channel a few months ago and I really like that perfume. So I've got these two formulas here. These are the ones that I went and made by following a formula kindly donated by Creative Formulas. If you don't already know, Creative Formulas is a website where they've gone and done GCMS analysis of popular perfume formulas, and they've gone and written them down as formulas which you can go and make up yourself. So they're not 100% exactly the same as the actual formulas they use in industry, because obviously those are top secret, but they're kind of the best interpretation that you can get by looking at a chemical analysis and trying to reconstitute that perfume. So in this video, I thought we would get Omar to smell both the uh, real versions of the perfumes, which he actually has, which he's kindly allowed us to use for this video, and then compare them to the versions which I went and recreated by just making the formulas up from Creative Formulas and basically put them to the test, see how similar he thinks they are, see if he thinks they're good uh, reconstitutions of the formula or not. So we're going to start off with La Nuit de l'Homme. Cool. So this is your version, the real one. My Which version, yeah. I'm guessing, so I'm like using up all of your perfume here. Yeah, you know that smell quite well, right? What are your thoughts on this perfume, firstly? I love it. It's bright, fresh, very balanced. Woody, lavender, very much a cardamom fragrance. It's a classical cardamom yeah. amber fragrance. Yeah, I noticed the cardamom note is quite nice in that as Masculine, well. Masculine, romantic, very airy. Yeah. It's probably what I, 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 well, just for context, guys, I dabble in perfumery slightly. I made a few videos in perfumery. It's nothing like Sam's <laughs> uh, depth of knowledge, but I know, you know, that heady own will air, make a fragrance smell a bit more airy yeah. and fresh and light. And I feel like it has a good amount of that. It's just a very beautiful yeah. balance of woody notes with warmth in here. It's just a very sexy, what everyone says in the community, a romantic yeah. fragrance. Something you'd wear on a date, for example. Yeah, I love it. Okay, fantastic. And then now, I probably should have let you smell the other one first, um, but... <clears throat> no, no, it's good to remind my nose of, uh, of what the original was like, and then... Also interesting, because I actually haven't smelled the two together. So this is the first time I've, because I don't have a new to home at all. I'm actually So you just presumed, like, yeah, this is probably correct. Yeah, yeah I've just presumed that. Literally, this is the first time. Okay, so this is the uh, reconstruction. Maybe for one million, we actually, you don't tell me which one. Yeah, for one million, I'll, I'll guess I won't tell you which one. Okay, interesting. So this is your formulation. Let's try it out. Or your, your well, my, my formulation. Your recreation. It's, uh, yeah. Okay, so in a similar direction, but not quite as warm. Yeah. It is, it is, I can see what you're saying. I can see what you're saying. Yeah. It is sort of, yes, trying to recreate it. The original is better, yeah. <laughs> but I can I feel like this has gone a bit too heavy on the clean musks. So yeah. I can't maybe this is yeah. the black slide is a bit too too okay. high up on here. I feel like so the one one main question I've got is like does it smell like La Nuit de, de Lom? If you'd um, if you just smelled this, mm. and I was like think of a perfume, like would you think oh yeah this smells like La Nuit de Lom or do you think it smells quite different? Honestly, yeah, I'd say it smells maybe sixty percent similar. Sixty percent, okay, that's surprising. Yeah, we, do you want the original back? Okay, let me let me have them. When I smelled them uh, together, I thought they were really similar. I feel like this is trying to recreate the base mm. of it, but okay. I feel like this is yeah. has finished it somehow. The original is, is uh, yeah. more finished. It has. Some some of the again it's more it's more airy. Yours is more thick and heavy. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a bit more. The original is a bit more airy, a bit more focused on the cardamom and the yeah. amber here. Yeah. Okay. So I say, I know what you mean. It's it's, yeah. it's in a similar direction, but I say it's about sixty percent similar. Sixty percent. But you can tell it's it's trying to recreate it. It'd be interesting to to do a blind test to one million and yeah. your formulation. I think it'd be interesting if you apply the strips okay. now without me seeing, and then let me, let me see what what I think. Okay. If you look away, I'm looking away here. 
Oh my god, subscribe to Sam's channel if you haven't already. Alright. So I'll give you this. Okay, so I don't know which one to which one now. it is. I haven't smelled one million in a while. It's very nice. Fruity, bubblegum like sweets. And then the other one. This one has more depth. It has the leather and the amber that I know One Million has. So I'm guessing this is the original. Yeah, that's the original. original yeah, yeah. I think, again, so this yeah. I feel like has the, the more top end yeah. correct, but it's missing a little bit of that base. Yeah. So this is, yeah, I feel like One Million always has the, the, the front, yeah. fun, fruity, um, mandarin and bubblegum like scent at the top and then has that leather amber yeah. at, the, at the bottom but i definitely i think this is more close than yeah um, than the other ones this might be 75 75 to 80 percent so let's smell these these two again now they've had a chance to dry down a bit so yeah i say 70 75 percent similar one million one and then let's try these This is the original. Yeah. Is it? I don't even know at this point which one's which, but I don't know the smell of this enough. This is too thick. This is too thick yeah. and woody. This this has a woodiness to it, but it's yeah. it's. I think it's. The, you need to, I'd maybe put some more heady on in there. Yeah. Okay. okay. I can tell this is the original. Yeah. yeah. But I I, th I think it's because that airiness and cool. the airiness has to be more in, in the you know, recreation. Yeah, I can smell that too. Anyway, so what I thought I would do is I thought I would show you the formula. For the recreation obviously we don't know the formula for the real one yeah and i wanted you to have a look through it and so, this is Lenny Delon, so for okay. you guys who don't know omar's actually been doing some of his own perfumery at home he's like a beginner perfumer so i thought i would very very <laughs> much a beginner yes. so i can't show you guys the formula um because creative formulas i agreed with them not to give the whole formula of course if you want to get it yourself you can find it on their website but I'm showing Omar the formula and I thought I would let him pick out anything that he found interesting as a beginner perfumer um, that, you know, sticks out in the formula. So even though the perfume is, let's say he thinks it smells different from the original, um, most of the things in there, especially the synthetics, are going to be at pretty accurate levels to what they are in the real formula. Um, just because of the way the analysis is done, it's actually going to be little trace elements, maybe captive molecules or something else that they haven't been able to recreate. Most of the things structurally in the formula are actually quite similar. So anything that he can pick out in this formula, there's a good chance that it's actually very similar to the level they've used it in the real perfume. So I just thought I would give the floor to him and give us any insights, anything you thought was cool as a beginner about that formula. Um, mm. For example, the number of things, anything specific, the levels of certain things. Yeah, I, as I said, when I was smelling it, I, I used Galax Life, one of the basic musks that a lot yeah. of beginner perfumers use. I think it's a bit too high in yeah. the recreation. Okay. Um, I can see it's like the second yeah. most high highest thing after Isoe Super. Um, and I see that Isoe Super is very proportionally high in the formula, but I would maybe say Hedio needs to come up there as well. Yeah. I'm not okay. sure. I'm strolling down trying to find yeah. Hedio. Because I mean, so to be honest, with you, like, I mean, I'm hearing what you're saying, right? The way that the analysis is done, mm. it probably is for those things the actual correct level. Okay. that it's found in the formula, if that makes yeah. sense. But it's it's still very interesting that, that you say that. <clears throat> it feels like there must be some head you in, in It's like what you're kind of saying is um, the original is a bit lighter, isn't it? It's a bit, yeah. it's more airy, it's more uh, fresh to some degree. And this, something about it feels a bit heavier, right? Yes, I I appreciate, yeah, there must be other molecules yeah. that, that can be used to achieve a similar effect. But it does give off that vibe with that. Because well, yeah. I've had very limited experience with perfumery, yeah, yeah when, you, when I go, all isoe super in my formula too heavy on that it makes gives us this thickness this yeah. velvetiness okay. that isoe super gives that's why i use that's yeah. why i use hedione and um, i presume just pretty much everything has hedione in it but it's just interesting to look at this i don't know half of these words what yeah. vertifix is for example what, what is that <laughs> so that's a woody note that's like a uh, cedarwood kind of molecule. Okay, cedarwood. But it's, it's much more clean than actual cedarwood essential oil, if you yeah. have that. I use Virginian cedarwood. Yeah, yeah like so that's the normal cedarwood to use. Yeah. And you with that, you get all of the kind of fresh woody elements of the actual, say like, imagine you'd freshly cut the tree. It smells okay. like that, pencil shavings. Yeah. Vertofix is much more of a clean synthetic cedar molecule, which doesn't have that kind of fresh pininess to it. Okay. It just has a certain, let's say, single tone of the like woody scent profile. Okay. 
Interesting. I, I can imagine a lot of mainstream brands actually use that because when yeah. you see a cedar yeah. wood note, it does feel the smell a bit yeah, like exactly. simple. Um, so you will find there is some cedar wood in this formula, but it's a lot lower. So sometimes you might make a little accord. Mm -hmm. Like let's say a clean cedar accord where you put in cedar wood synthetics and then add a tiny touch of real cedar wood cool. just to flesh it out. Cool. I think that's, a good, I think that's pretty accurate actually. Yeah. I think, yeah, it, like really long was known to have cedar wood in it. So it makes sense that's in there yeah. at, at, a, at a prominent amount. Ambery uh, raw materials. I don't know what charisma. Cashmere. I love cashmere. Yeah. That gives it that fresh, clay, clean linen cashmere effect, doesn't it? I love that note. Alpha, alpha isomethyl ionone super. That's the vitamin. Yeah, also leaves. called, I think, methyl ionone gamma. Um, so it's got different names for that molecule. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> just in case you have that one. And not yeah, the, uh, I, I think I do have it, yeah, because yeah. I, I watched your video on the Grosjean and Accord, oh, yeah. and I was telling yeah. myself I need to recreate that. Yeah. That's cool, yeah, it's good at the cardamom. I mean, yeah, I, actually, I'm quite surprised cardamom is, is 0.7% of this yeah. formula. Yeah. Uh, I would have thought it would be a little bit higher, but I know cardamom mia can be... Actually, when I got cardamom's strong. raw material, yeah. it is it's very actually strong, pungent. Right? I, was yeah. like, I always thought to myself, oh, I love cardamom yeah. fragrances. I'll just love this raw material on its own, but actually, yeah, you're right. It goes to show like with dosing, sometimes even a little bit of something can be very prominent because yeah. you definitely smell the cardamom yeah. in that needs along, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, even in the recreation, you definitely smell, smell it in both. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think cardamom on its own can just smell a bit really dirty as a pure yeah. raw material, um, which is cool. I know it has a fair bit of lavender. I'm surprised that is that the only, it's just the lavender oil that's in there? Yeah, so the lavender is quite low, right? But yeah. I believe. There's a bit more there. So you've got two different types of lavender. Let's see if you have. I'm quite surprised the lavender so. What low. they also have is a lot of ethyl linalol. Mm. And I think there's some linalol in there. And actual lavender does have linalol inside of it as well. Yeah. And ethyl linalol is almost like a cleaner smelling version. Or some people say it's cleaner of actual linalol. Mm. So almost, you could say what they've done is similar to the cedar wood. They've taken some cleaner notes, which yeah. are more synthetic to give you more of a modern perfumery, like commercial feeling. And then they've made an accord of those with just little bits of the real natural. And that's to stop it smelling too like rustic and dirty, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea because yeah, I think that just smooths it out. What does linalool smell like on its own? Because I always struggle to actually smell it. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to bring it some, some I do have it, time. I own it. Oh, you have it? I do, but I, yeah. I, I struggle to smell it properly. I would say for me, it's like foliage smell. You know, in springtime or summer when you walk into like an overgrowth area? Yeah. Like a path with loads of plants yeah a general like you know on a warm day where you smell all of the the foliage smells that come rise up into the air mm. i put it in that category of smells it's um camphorous what you say? not camphoraceous because that's more sharp okay. that's more of like not minty but it's more like a tiger tiger balm kind of smell camphor you know like really shoots up your nose yeah whereas linalol is more like the general like undergrowth smell i think it's one of those um sort like of leafy, nature yeah, yeah just yeah. you know outside subtle smells you find on yeah, a summer's yeah. day it's one of the constituents yeah. of like all the floors. And it's in loads and of essential yeah, oils yeah, as well, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. This is very useful. It's interesting yeah. to see you got some, some animalic notes in there with the indole and you've got alpha damascus. Yeah. I've heard about damascus and that's probably just one of those really strong yeah. masks, presumably. Yeah. I'd say, like okay, let's say. Veramos, I watched your video on Veramos, excellent video, love that. Thank you. <laughs> I need to get a raw material. Longevity, yeah. you said, it's good. It's, it's good, good for have... longevity. It's very, really strong as well. So out of, um, after having, so these <coughs> formulas are something like 70 pounds on the Creative Formulas website. Cool. After having smelt this, so I think you felt like the one million one was better than the Creative, than the uh, Lenry de Homme, right? It was closer, I wanted, yeah. not necessarily better, but closer. I think, I think they're both pleasant. Yeah. I think they're both pleasant, but we're just comparing how much, how close they are. So I'm just curious to know, it's like, it's it's nice. you're, um, as someone who's a beginner, you've made like how many, I don't know how many perfumes you've tried to make yourself. <sighs> Let's say I haven't kept count. I, I dabble around my own. Yeah like fun little mini projects maybe let's say 50 that's 50 yeah. yeah 50 trials okay and how long have you been doing that for like not i, I do it on and off for about yeah. over a year now. yeah yeah so like having looked at that formula those two formulas especially one of them being a perfume that's like one you like a lot right yeah do you think that having that information would be useful for you in your own perfumery do you think like, yes. for example, that's worth it or maybe something in the future when you're more experienced or actually right now, even just being able to see the kind of structures of a commercial perfume? I don't know why perfumery is such a gate kept yeah. hobby. I do not find enough resources online. I feel like the internet has information on everything, but perfumery yeah. It's still something I just, <laughs> it's just so, that's why I like- That's I, why I make the videos, uh, Yeah, right? yeah, your videos are so useful. I don't know why the industry is so gate kept and why there isn't just like an exit. I feel like the brand that comes out with 
a perfumer's beginner's kit with yeah. uh, with like it's, it's kind of like the coloring book of perfumer yeah. they get has, like that's formulas, formulas and, like this because yeah. it's so hard to know as yeah. a beginner where which direction to go you yeah. do some courses i did courses myself and i double i got started through that but then when you're on your own you yeah. just feel so lost and yeah. having formulas and having some sort of structure to your learning is so so yeah. important and I think whoever can reveal the world of perfumery to, yeah. to society will become a very rich individual. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm actually so I'm actually thinking about doing a beginner's kit at some point. Yeah. So if I do do that, then I will be making some videos with, you know, like formulas that you can go and make Release alongside that. Release a beginner's that. kit with a, with a <laughs> beginner's uh, cookbook. With a little guide, right? Some formulas, cookbook something some like formulas, that. Cookbook formulas, yes, to, and to, to give them more increasingly complex formulas as they go through the yeah, book and they okay. work through it. Give them okay. a little exercise book. Yeah. There's, there's nothing like, like that that exists. I yeah. can't see it. I love John Claude Eleanor's biography on how he yeah. got into the industry, but I, you know, he gives you a few tips on the chords, but there's nothing like that actually gives people like a curriculum. There's no okay. curriculum unless you're willing to pay tens of thousands of euros to go to France. To yeah, course, yeah, of course. Which is, you know. In that case, I'll keep it in mind cool. when I'm doing my kit. As I say, at the moment, it's not none of it's uh, set in stone, but cool. I love having ideas like that. So if any of you guys in the comments also are interested in a kit, and if you've got any ideas like Omar's ideas, this is actually the first time I've heard this. This is not like something re-rehearsed. Uh, also let me know because I'd be interested in hearing about those as well. So yeah, thank you very much Omar for being on the, on the video. Um, hope you enjoyed this. And thank you for having me. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. I'm sure you will. I'll see you guys next time with another video all about perfumery.